Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative is speaking to a sports betting host for Yahoo Sports, Ariel Epstein. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, it's pretty crazy because obviously, especially with digital media and social media and YouTube and streaming, we're just seeing the climate of sports betting kind of change day by day. Is that kind of the mindset you go in when you go to work and everything, just knowing that it's so it could change and immediately because of kind of the climate we're in right now? This gambling space has changed so much. I dove, I dove into it in 2019, and I mean, I've been betting. I just never was in media side of betting. Yeah. Now that I was in 2019, I, I said, eh, I mean, I think in the next 10 years, this thing's going to take off. Yeah. Then COVID hit. The states needed the money. Now they're all starting to legalize it because it's making millions, if not billions of dollars. It's already made billions here in New York. Sports betting continues to just go. I mean, we're in, I think people say like the fourth inning of this. Yep. There are certain states that still want to allow the kiosks and the stadiums to have these different sports books. That's all going to change. The stadiums are going to have sports books, arenas, et cetera. Kiosks are going to be all over. There's going to be ways that not only the states are making money, these teams are going to make money because you're going to just go to a game and then sit there after the game and continue to bet on sports and continue to watch. The live betting opportunities are great, too. Just having the accessibility with the app on your phone. I was at a Yankee game, and at the Yankee game, it was opening day, Yankees-Red Sox. I said, I'm jumping in live. Yankees minus 106. Let's go. It's just so much more fun to be able to have a stake in the game and actually be entertained in more than just one way. What is your advice for the better, the person that kind of wants to get involved with this climate of so many experts so many analysts so many kind of youtube clips and everything i'm just curious what your mindset would be like for people kind of wanting to get into it knowing there's so much advice and so much out there on social media and on youtube it is crazy because when <laughs> i jumped in there were a few places that you could look and trust people mm -hmm. now everybody's out there yeah. it's really tough to figure out who the reliable people are Look for people that are putting up good content. What I always say to people and what I try to pride myself on is I like to give out information that backs up my picks. This way, you don't necessarily have to take my pick. You will learn something, though, from watching my videos. Yeah. Some people will just post picks to Twitter, and that's fine if you like them and you think that these people are really smart. Go for it. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> just look for the people if you're new to sports betting. Go look for the people that are actually giving you information to back up their picks. This way you learn the terminology. You learn what people are looking for. Eventually, you'll be able to make your own smart, educated guesses as opposed to just tailing someone's picks blindly on Twitter. Yeah, you experts are not like you. You can't predict the future. You know what I mean? You can do your best. <laughs> But like, I sometimes don't think people- Even the odds makers get it wrong. <laughs> it is so crazy. Obviously, you know, it's interesting because, you know, what you do at Yahoo Sports, you know, there's obviously kind of the focal points throughout the seasons. Baseball just started. Basketball playoffs for the NBA are around the corner. Um, I do have to ask, though, you look at the NFL where- you know, we are a while away now for the start of the NFL. So much kind of has happened. Do you, because of the fact that so much has happened, do you see yourself kind of carving some time to kind of prepare for the NFL season, knowing what a nuts off season it's been so far? Because I feel like that's going to catch up on us pretty quick and we're going to be making our fantasy picks pretty soon, Ariel. <laughs> With the NFL, I wait until the NBA playoffs are over. I am really good. I, I really like betting the NBA, MLB, and NFL. Those are my three main sports. I try really hard to not do three at once. It's just too overwhelming. Yeah. I do two sports at once. Go to the prime time of their seasons. Now, when Major League Baseball hits its point of the year where the NBA playoffs are over and it's July and it's the all-star break, I'll start to dabble the NFL is just such a team sport that even though so much has gone on, so much more is still going to go on. Yep. I'm waiting to see injuries. I'm waiting to see training camps. I'm waiting to see 
certain quarterbacks in certain divisions? Can Deshaun Watson even play for the Cleveland Browns yet? There are certain things that I'm just waiting to hear confirmation of. Yep. And also like the Pittsburgh Steelers in that same division, we don't know who their quarterback's going to be. Even if the team itself has their quarterback, or even if the team itself seems established, there's other teams that they're going to have to face and other division or other teams in their divisions that they're going to have to face that may not be so settled yet. Those are the things I'm waiting for before I make my ultimate decision on NFL. I did bet the Ravens though, to win the Super Bowl next year. Now I am a Ravens fan and this helmet behind me, it's I was a Ravens about to helmet. Say, yeah. <laughs> the thing is I've never bet a Ravens future in my life ever. I'm not joking. I mean, it has been almost 30 years and I've never bet a Ravens future. The book is underestimating them this year, yeah. and that's because I know the team well. I know the injuries that they suffered from last season. They had no secondary. They're they're going to get their starting uh, their starting cornerback Marcus Peters who tore his ACL before the year before the season. The Ravens lost their entire running back room, and this is a team that led the league in rushing two years ago. Their quarterback Lamar Jackson barely played the second half of the year. I really like the Ravens to go over their win total. I like them to win the Super Bowl. This is just an experienced team that's really well coached. They're going to get better than they were last year from injuries. I did it from a value perspective because mm -hmm. I could see this Ravens team getting off to a hot start and the books end up moving them way up the leaderboards. Yep. So just make sure that you look at those kinds of situations. I really don't dive too deep into the NFL, though, until about July or August. For sure. I just feel like my phone just kind of blew up and I did see people – talking about the odds and we don't even know like I said like some teams don't even have a quarterback right now it's wild it's so crazy we don't I don't even we're not even sure who Aaron Rodgers is gonna be throwing to yet officially like we don't like you know what I mean like, I exactly <laughs> exactly like even if you have your quarterback it doesn't mean that you know everything else no absolutely there might be a lot of answers but I want you to do your best for this what would you say what is a misconception about sports betting that you could share with us right now, whether from like anything from the consumer, from the athlete, like anything, what is a misconception you could share with us, Ariel? The misconception in sports betting is that it's a dirty, dirty industry. And listen, it has had its, it's had its moments. Yeah. The, I, I just don't agree with people that say sports betting is bad. Anything can be addictive. Yes. Gambling can be addictive, but so can alcohol. So can cigarettes, smoking, et cetera. I mean, coffee could be addicting. There's so many things that are addicting, but you just have to make sure that you limit yourself. I mean, food is addicting to people. That's why there's obesity. There's just, you have to have self-control. I hate how people say sports betting's the devil. It's bad. I wouldn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Don't bet a lot. Bet enough to have fun or don't bet at all. I really don't care. It's just, if you want to bet, don't bet to the point where you can't anymore. And that's the thing with me, with mainstream betting coming along with yeah. all these main books, like a bet MGM, you don't have to worry about getting into so much debt because the sports book's not going to let you bet anymore. They make you put the money in before you bet it out. Whereas other books that were, you know, like this whole black market thing with sports betting, that was way back when you could get yourself into serious debt because you keep betting yourself into a hole. Yeah. These sports books are watching you now and they're not going to let you get deep into a hole. They're going to cut you off. That's what makes legalizing sports betting and letting someone higher up watch in a more legal way. And it's going to make sure that sports betting doesn't hit that point again like it used to. Oh, for sure. No, that's a good point. Um, yeah, the stigma. And I, I don't know if the stigma that you're talking about is ever going to go away, to be completely honest with you. Um, but I understand where you're coming from for sure. Um, what um, I want to know more about, you know, what's going on from the Yahoo Sports sports betting perspective of things. What do you have coming up? What can people check out? Can you plug away a little bit? Like what's happening on the, the Yahoo Sports betting kind of side of things? Yahoo Sports is powered by BetMGM. There's so many different promos. There's not only sports betting, there's also daily fantasy. And we have some really other fun contests to get involved, especially with the NBA playoffs coming up. Sure. Now, if you bet $10 on the NBA playoffs, you get $200 in free bets. All you have to do is go to betmgm.com slash Yahoo VIP to get involved. Daily fantasy we have going on during the NBA playoffs where you get $10 in site credit to start playing, plus a $25 site credit bonus on your first deposit. And there's also going to be single DFS slates where single game DFS slates where you can just bet one game for daily fantasy. 
There's also a fantasy slate contest where it's free to get involved. All you have to do is make the most correct picks and you get some cash prizes. I mean, this is all free to get involved. So you're getting a lot of different deals and the way to do it, you go to sports.yahoo.com, download the Yahoo Sports app via Google Play or the App Store. You'll be able to get involved. And the best part about Yahoo is that all that stuff is part of the website. You also can go to our websites and our apps and you can find that smart information there. The reason I'm here at Yahoo is because everyone they hire is really smart. Like no joke. Other places have hired some people who I'm like, I don't know if I trust them. Yahoo has hired so many smart people that you go to the website and you'll get the content that you need to make the best educated picks and the best educated daily fantasy lineups. Amazing. That was, that was great. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. It was great chatting with you a little bit on pop alternative. This was great. Seriously. I, I enjoyed the conversation. Thank you so much for having me and good luck this postseason. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for people that want to keep up to date with Yahoo Sports and keep up to date with you on social media, can you plug away quickly where they could follow everyone? For sure. Go to Yahoo Sportsbook or Yahoo Fantasy, Yahoo Sports, all over social media, especially on Twitter. I'm at Ariel Epstein on Twitter and Ari Epps on Instagram. We'll be posting pics, content, et cetera, everything that you need for the NBA playoffs and honestly, every sport. We literally do every sport you down do. to tennis, golf, baseball, football, et cetera. Yeah, you do. Absolutely. They're also doing betting now for the like for WWE too, which is I feel like a whole other conversation. <laughs> Yeah, don't ask me about that. I only give out things that I know. I do not no, know I that. No, really... I just saw it Ooh. online, and I'm like, oh, boy, that, that seems to be a whole new world. And I'm just like, I don't even know where to start with that. But Basically, oh. you have to know Vince McMahon, and uh, you'll be able to get the end. <laughs> this has been Pop Turner of YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Ariel Epstein from Yahoo Sports and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.